Yeah, what do you want? We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once you had taken charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. You were a genius on the field. You are held in very high regard among my people. You abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, you proved too much for us. There was no one else. The entire Republic had committed its forces behind you. The Sith had retreated back to their empire, and there were none else strong enough to challenge us. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. You fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you, nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Commentary. Of course I do, Master. You are Revan. You are my Master. The one who created me. I exist to serve. Statement. HK-4... Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. As you desire, Master. Signing off.
Got something on your mind, do you? Well, I suppose I could whip up something, uh, well, not just... Got something on your... I'll ask... How can you possibly be a raven? The one. The Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. Yes, that is true. I suppose you would know better than I. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Taras. It was not easy for her. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able, but over time she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange, a band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credit for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine, and we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you, but for now, let us keep on the task at hand.
What can I do for you? It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Hey there, what can I do for you? Um, are you sure you want to ask me about that? Hey there. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. Kin <laughs> Topana Otto Vocasa, Pampa Ki Mulira Kun Kin, Changwaba Chingo, Shangwi Chama Ucha, Wish Uyong Kun, Achua Penki, Yun Patisa, Tichuba Chikutka Naga, Kingu Mwa Mulira Duana, Kingba Nikcha Lora Kun. Chiwi Aita Katon Chicha. Agi inko tune chuna muli ra tangi wama jiko na tong ki pa nongku nek abog Ajua penki yun patisa ti chuba jika kin cha na wabaka on Tong hi wama agi inko tune por tong hi wama ji agi inko tun tong pa no kun no nek chiwi aita ka chong chi cha Ki muli ra kun kin, kin ba no kun nik dor cha, ba ba hasan shan, no ba muli ra chi lai kun ka. A chua penki, yun patisa, ti chuba ji kun ka naga, kin bu mwa muli ra duana, kin ba nik cha lora kun. Tong hi duama ag i inko tune, Por tong hi mwa ma ji aki inko tun, tong pa no kun, no nek. Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha, ki muli ra kun kin. Kin ba no kun nik do, chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune, chuna muli ra, chiwa e aita kan ki cha na, chupor nipo. Kun muli ra slimo poi wanga, tong hi tuwa ma ji, yuman ak in ikat ki muli ra. Ki muli ra Tong hi tuwa ma aki inko tune Por tong hi mwa ma ji aki inko tun Tong pa no kun, no nek Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha Agi inko tune, chuna muli ra Tong hi tuwa ma ji ko na Tong ki pa no kun nek abog Chiwa e aita kan ki cha na Chupor nipo Kun muli ra slimo poi wanga Tong hi tuwa ma ji Yuman ak in ika tune Jiska dosoki Kopa bono nakachu Labora na winki smak toma Kuyami juzku chita nai Uchua penki Topa na oto vokasa Yuba bato kanchi Yatuka ulan Tong hi tuwa ma ak i inko tune 
Portong hiwa maji aki inkotun Tong panokun nonek Chiwi aita ka chong achua penki Yun Chas kronki to pats limo Chi ita kang ichuta Yun pati Kakin cha na wabakaon Bagwa siyang konti machid ki muli ra What? Yes, what's on your mind? If you're ready to talk, then yes, so am I. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done for my... for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself.
Yikukulo no ba mulera jikun. Tong hit kun chunching. Ne bobo je mata ne punage. Dolpi kikyuana. Runga di hotonga kun hunkabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk nincha tu kun ne mulera bez. We eat a man dieta. What a yuma wama huhu nadetik. Ah, shatungi patoga. Wana kuzbe ching palamule tonke. Takung just tak miki grabul moko. Kachichu ita botunga. Dolba bank. Wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Mamule slimo podadada nanga kumbist ule rabes. Ke puna buna nae chatu chingba mule ratawana. Toh chingba no kunik. Kavadumpa ku peliano momakata. Wanga kubist tiabol mule a. Ka ching chana na wakaba kon. Kavadumpa ku peliano ponantea. Chi gratu lo da pograsi onni un compa cin tondo mochuba lo da dita kun ita patisa batua kacha tu tong pograsha kun ti cha ka umma chuba ka chopa chawa chuish yunku jodo jit bunga rantan ronda di hotonga kun hanka bi ona kun bez cin palamule tonking ba nunotek Tuk nincha tu kune mule rabes. Tak bis tu pungku kuki bat paka. Cing pala ciska mule tu narana nu prata tungku si cha tu ma wamama tus kepa toma. Nisha julor cha king kuno mule rajiko. Kuya mi jus cikata na patoga ya fulki koko gala cici. Kawan abot atagua. Kaki dora ti kun wata ti mana ia bola. Shangji loja wana wama. Kawa volpa mulji kumana. Kincun cici neng cene kum do bale mule raji kum. Wana mungkus bes cinga pula mula tu de rana prata. Tunggu sejak domam toma mana man atau ta haki jukra ta bola shui tongga tong jong keng no bunka mule ra kung kile kung kile no ba waten de cokolo uno uno ku mule ra tong hai tuam cici jong lumpa di tapu e tikitu dol pada bangkualeo gandona cucut kaci cu ita dundoga. Yu malita kuto dun, jila mula ne ni du bobo, wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ka chikun ita haldonga, iking kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo po donar undi haldonga kung kabe. Chigra tu lo da pograsi oni un kumba chin tondo mochuba. Lo da nita kun. Ita patisa batua kaca tu tonga. Bagra sha kon ti cha ka umma. Chuba ka ha chopa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jit bunga rantan. Tong abu sha umni na. Wonga kun bis keng bale muraya. Choni yun tun jiji ita tuana. Kava volpa mulje kumana. Kava dumpa ku palia muka pata Buna na chaku Ikung kono bule marachi ko Tung nabung sya nunja Kava volpa mulje kuna Tolpa da bong wale gandu na gugu chuchut Kava dung ku pilio botenya Buna na ikuchu Awaga boska chokola Mucha sya ipanka Wi tam boragatong muli ra ang turong ni na potata tuanga chun tize igruto haga jijiwa wata juma wana hu wama hu hu natek 
Tong abog siya uminang wanga kumbis king palimuraya. Juni yun tun jiji itatwana. Kapapod pa muli gumana? I have to thank you, you know. I don't know how you did it. I really don't.
Nikawa Dubaka Kaki
Disca do Soki, Copa Bono Nakachu, Chiwaka Aita Kan Kicha na Chupornibo, Kun Muri Ras Lim. Patoga Yakuli Kokala Gigi, Tinku in Koka, Tonghit Wana G, Sarkat Agi in Kotune, Chula Muri Ra, Tonkpa Nonku Nek Abog. Chua Penki, Yun Patisa, Kichuba Jikuta Naga, Kingu Mua Muri Radwana, Kimba Nikchalora Kun, Tong Hitwama Aki Inko Tune, or Tong Hitwama Chiwa Eita Kan Kicha Na Chupornibo, Jiska Dosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora na Winky Smackoma, Tong Hitwama Aki Inko Tune, or Tong Hitwama Ji Aki Inko Tun, Tong Patka Kincha na Wabakaon, Pichage Borang Turang, Nada Chawa Yishun Kun, Noba Tong Hitwama Ji Aki Inko Tun, Kachopa Bogra Shonko Tachi Cha. Un chau a Wiskun, un con chau basso. Tong ituama ji, human act un ikatune, chon muli, muli ba tong, pa akat un tutune, chino muli ra ni lubo, tong king chas kronki to pats nemo, chi ita kanki chan na kilikon, king ba muli ra tuana ji. Kimba no your kind doing here. Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. <laughs> yeah, do like the Jedi tells you and back off. Your people are pathetic. It's no wonder we crushed your world so easily. What? 
What do you know about my world? I know enough that... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... No, he's dead and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. So, what would it take, Jedi, for you to sell your pet here to me? Now, don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. The females make amusing pets, but the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Taurus. What? What did you say? What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn Jedi. It was you. What? Me? Oh. Oh, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathair, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent servants if properly trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human species. The Sith at least let their feelings show on the outside. You... the whole world... Come now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. And I will see you dead for what you have done to my people! Uh, hold on a second. D don't be hasty. I... I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes! Say no to the dark side, but I will have you yet! Ha! My cathal blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but... But I will not give in to the dark side, either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us.
Hey there. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Got something on your mind? Manan's an unusual place. Not for its water, mind you. It's the Kalto, healing juice. Only place where it occurs in the galaxy. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait, well, what was this about anyway?
You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. And there's nothing we can do, though. The Selkath want to maintain their neutrality, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, for the Colto, of course. Really, that's the only reason anyone would want to be here. It's the only reason the Selkath built Otto City in the first place. To explore Colto. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the Visitor Residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the Port Official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. Yeah, I can't talk now. I've got to get this Colto loaded up before my shift is over. Sure. 
were a little stodgy about using the force on people. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Sathiros, bring us for demons in me. Gondram the Vatikanvite. Balastagatos de Fjord. Destoron the Confidos of the Destoron. The whole swoop racing circuit for the sector has been falling apart since the Sith bomb terrace. I heard the Sith are trying to work on a synthetic version of Kulto. I wouldn't be surprised if the Republic was too. Got all the proper culto training permits. Hey, I'm working here. Go talk to the diplomatic rep if you got something to say. I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunry. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? It's horrible, Jolie. Sunry has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunry isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Allura. Where's Sunry now? Sunry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry. Somehow. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments. Do you mind? I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments.
We could look into this to calm the Selkath's fears, though I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. Then steal a crafty stone of stairs. cold-blooded as the next guy, but I'm starting to wonder if working for the Sith is a good idea. Bad enough they wiped out Terrace. Now I hear they did the same to Dantooine. Seems like they don't care who they kill and they don't even need a reason. I need work, but if I have any choice, I'll sign on with the Republic. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Well, nothing. Except that the Ajani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Ajani are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death. Mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pretty much name my price right now, especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malak, so I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. We Mandalorians are always practical that way. Not like those bloodthirsty Iridorians or those honor-bound Ichani. Or anything else you want? So why are you telling me? If you're going, go. I don't need a status report. Let's steal a crafty stone 
a drink. That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? You some kind of historian or something. You should forget about the past. Look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Malak should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector. Colto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks... Oh, I get it. I get it a little bit wild, and you want to hold it against me. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this. When we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. If you're here, maybe that I Not really. I've got no interest in the Selkath, other than the fact that they're charging me an exorbitant amount to stay in this world. The Iridorian over there, however, he, I believe, may know more. He's been seen with several of them before. I'm a realist, and with this or anything... So... For a while... Th I am not for hire. Why do you care? There are other mercenaries you can hire, though I suggest you act quickly. They're not so... Ask what... Perhaps. But my business with the Selkath is my own. An Iridorian has no friends. Though I feel a strange kinship with you. You do not seem like the others of this world. Even the Sith here do not understand our kind. The Sith sought to buy my loyalty with credits. As if wealth could somehow quench my burning bloodlust. They would have been better off hiring a Chani for the errands they had me running. The task paid well, but was boring. And beneath me, I was told to lure the Selkath youth to the Sith Embassy. Nothing more. I lied, I threatened, I promised. And I brought the most promising youth of the fish people to the Sith. So you tricked these innocents into going to the Sith base. And then what did you do with them? And there I left them. To 
to what purpose I neither know nor care. Perhaps when the Sith learn I have betrayed their secret, they will try to kill me. I would welcome the excitement. Sounds like the Sith are trying to win this planet by corrupting the Selkath youth. Much more subtle than their usual methods. Is there more you would ask of me, human? Yes, I'm not surprised. There are few on this watery world who feel... you happen to know. The public respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor, but the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. Then still a just destroyer's death. Oh, there it is. Then it is us. And all those children Sith in the making. His way. Kings he called us come to his death. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Sith in us. Bring us for terror soon be. Gone down the Vatican the day. Day soon, the Selkath will pay f I'm sick of hearing about Manon's neutrality. It sounds like a coward's excuse not to fight, if you ask me. Oh, 
Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. Speaking of that injury, has it been taken into consideration, Your Honor? Simply because it was real does not mean Sunny would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. <laughs> Appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Sunri's. he's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I've forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have had to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. I'm a Jedi, and one who was living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. 
That keeps you in shape, dammit. We're talking about Sunry here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunry's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunry didn't do this. You're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! Jolie, what are you doing here? The Lord sent me, Summary. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Cellcath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with off-worlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Elasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh, I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. When I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alassa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes crosser to crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with, I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Oh, 
But I think anything... Very well. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. I hear you've been appointed. Sunrise. He's a cripple. That's true. And there's no. Find the. Yes. Yes. The whole swoop racing circuit for this sector has been falling apart since the Sith bomb terrorists. These Selkath don't know what they're gonna miss. <laughs> 